This is James Shoon, aka Triple J75, and until next time, peace. Ouch. And cut. Okay, now that that's finally done, I'm gonna take a break. Okay, that was excellent, James. We'll take a break and then do how to play Minecraft 1.15. What? Since when was 1.15 released? Oh, let me show you. Oh, how's it going, guys? It's your boy James here, and today we're going to do something a little different today. <sighs> oh my goodness, this is goodness. It's a snapshot. When was this released? Two months ago. <sighs> Not again. Well, I'm going to get a snack, then get started. We are getting started. We're literally in it, right now. Well, okay then. Well, we do have honey bottles in the refrigerator. Oh, that's nice. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do you have honey bottles in the refrigerator? I don't know. That's what was in the script you gave me. Uh, but, well, I'll just... Get it. Alright, everyone, play this, please. We're going to do Minecraft 1.15 right now. Alright, camera's on, exit, light. Beautiful, beautiful, sound. Excellent. Everything seems to be working. Alright, three, two, one, action! Alright, everyone. I have special news for you. Minecraft 1.15 is finally here! Woohoo! It's me, two months after it was released to the PC. So there are a lot of cool things that I need to show you guys, some of which help the gameplay a lot. I'm going to show you. We're going to grab some supplies. Here we go. Now, there's one thing I have to explain before we go on our great adventure. Great adventure runs on magic at night. Magic and music and life. So, Joe has told me this morning that he doesn't really feel like going anywhere today. He was kind of tired after going all the way to the shipwreck for the regular How to Play Minecraft. So, I decided to get another horse and I asked you guys what name I should have him possess? Surely I did. And you guys told me to name him Dinnerbone. So let's put the name tag on Dinnerbone. It... Oh god. This looks so weird and wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna cut that out. Oh my god. Anyway, this is a bee. They pollinate flowers and bring what they get out to their beehive, which should be somewhere over here, and they make honey for us. Now remember, bees are our friends. They do not want to hurt us. We get lots of food from them in real life. The Minecraft Wikipedia says that if you put a campfire under the hive, then they do not become hostile. But are you serious? Going to burn the bees? That's not nice at all. So, to show that I am non-violent and I just want some honey, I'm going to collect it. Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh. How much damage do they do? I'm more really curious. Come on! How much damage do you do? Oh god. Oh, ooh, this finger doesn't look nice at all. This is so scary. I'm not actually going to get stung, but... Ooh, ooh. Why do I keep running away? Uh, I better take these headphones off. Just so the noise doesn't bother me. How much damage are they going to do? Come on! Spike me with your butt! Why don't they do any damage? Strange. Okay guys, so while editing this video, I found out that the reason why bees didn't give me any damage earlier was because I was on peaceful mode. Well, I turned this to normal, so now let's attack one of these bees, and I'm going to take these headphones off after I do so, because I don't like the bee stinging noises. Here we go. For comedy. Oh! 
Oh, and they poison you. And do they die after attacking you? Oh dear. Yep, they die. My worst nightmare right here. I want to see if I can die because of the beast. Oh yeah, they're, they're stinging me all right. Triple chase him if I was stung to death. Just wanted to show you guys a new death method you can get. There are also beehives that you can find. To get the honeycomb, here's what you need to do. So you go to the beehive, and it must be at honey level 5. This looks like honey level 0. But once the bees put enough honey, you can shear it to get that amount. So making honeycombs is quite rare. But once you do get them, you could make a beehive. Or a honeycomb block, like this. The honeycomb block has many uses. I'll tell you. It does absolutely nothing. Hey, what are you doing to me, Mr. Sheep? Why are you pushing me? That's not nice. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. This is illegal, you know. My dream is to find a girl that likes me like this horse likes my okay i'm not finishing that sentence now that we're back at base i'm going to show you the uses for honey bottles you can eat it nice delish you can also convert it into a honey block which is really cool. It's kind of like slime blocks, but also slows you down if you walk on it. I'm going to get some more just for the sake of explanation. Hold on. Okay, that was a lot of hard work, but I finally got a whole more oh, honey blocks. I took forever, but I'm happy to do it for you guys. Very sticky. Very sticky. Oddly satisfying. Here's another property of honey that you need to see. You can't jump very high on it, right? Right. But also... Oh, come on. <laughs> Gonna need to get some other blocks. There we go. Now here's what happens when you slide down on honey. You slide down very, very slowly. That is good. You can use this in mines and such. That is, you can never afford all these... I always call them slime blocks. Honey blocks. And I think this is really cool. You can like use them to break your fall before you get to end the mine because if you don't fall into your mind to get into it the fastest, you have no childhood. But there's another useful property of honey. So this is the height that would usually kill you, right? But when I jump, two and a half hearts. It reduces a lot of fall damage, just like hay bales and beds. Nice. One more thing about honey. Wait, honey. 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 <gasps> I have a girlfriend! Yes! I have someone to call honey in time for Valentine's Day! Woohoo! <laughs> so long, singles! I'm not calling it Singles Awareness Day, I'm calling it Valentine's Day! Ha! <laughs> All that trouble to get the honey blocks is worth it. Well, anyways, uh, it, it's getting dark, and don't worry, the mobs usually avoid walking on honey. I'm going to show you guys all the commands tomorrow, but for now, I have some fun to have. Good night, honey.
Good night, dear. <gasps> oh my god! Talkie honey block! <laughs> Dude, I thought we were cool. Alongside adding bees, 1.15 focuses on fixing bugs and improving performance, as well as adding numerous features that are rich bedrock. Wait a minute. No plagiarism! No! Absolutely not! This is the worst thing you guys have ever done! I am not taking this! There are many new game rules that you can add now. The first one is if you type T slash game rule, do immediate respawn. True? Then here's what happens. Let's say you're being very careless and you fall to your death. Hold on. Watch what happens. Look. Did you see what happened? No, because nothing happened. I went right back to the bed that set my spawn point. It's great. When you dig, you don't have to go through the stupid screen anymore. It skips right through it. Yeah, so if you're digging underwater and you drown, you're going mainly right back to your bed. No need to deal with the screen. Hmm, that means. Remember my massive failure with Frozen Ocean Hardcore Survival thing that I did once? If you don't know about that, let me show you the clip. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? My point is, what if I had that game rule in a hardcore world? Wait a minute. You can't have cheats in hardcore. What if I opened it to LAN and then use that to activate cheats and. Hold on! Virginia Tech sucks balls. See, your bed. Dude. Eat. Uh, we are now in a hardcore world. And here's what I am going to do. Okay, don't actually do this because it's cheating. It's for demonstration purposes. I cheats on. There we go. And T slash game roll. Do idiot respawn. True. And now that's true. Now, let me do something extremely stupid. Where's that cliff when I need one? Nice, nice, good. Oh, just go straight to spectator mode. Well, you see, you can see all the things down below, but. Wait a minute. Oh, you just go straight to spectator mode, but you can go out of it. That's pretty cool, but that ruins the purpose of hardcore mode, I guess. And now I am going to die. Goodbye. So the answer is yes, you could do media respawn on hardcore mode, but sort of ruins the purpose. So this next command is my favorite update in the update. Ever, without question. This is amazing. Don't you hate it when you accidentally stayed up for too long because you're going mining or something? Then you return to the surface, it's nighttime, and you don't have time to go back to your house. I mean, it wouldn't be this far away, this uh, that far away. <laughs> but uh, you have to go through some dark to go back, and then the phantoms come. The phantoms come, and then the phantoms who I still don't know how to fight to this day. I mean, suppose yeah, I should get a sword. Just story, I was away from the house on a wooden mansion raid when I first saw phantoms, and I had no idea who they were. I was shocked. I just went to peaceful. I'm sort of a baby at times. Oh! But since the phantoms are gone, I am now safe, and I get to show you something. So you do T slash game rule. Do insomnia false. 
And then you never have to worry about the phantoms ever again. Woo! Oh, yes, it is a great day of independence for all Triple J fans around the world. And look, now it's the dead of night. And there should be some mobs coming soon. I haven't seen any, but... Oh yeah, there's a zombie? Uh, what other mobs are around here? I see... Oh, many zombies over there. What about... Ooh, I think... No, those are horses. Ooh, look at this. Some creepers. And skellies. And a spade. Ooh. But as you can see, no phantoms. They don't spawn over us. And I admit, I use this in my regular world. Don't judge me. The phantoms scare me, alright? You know how my skill was in how to play Minecraft one with... 13, it's about the same now. Oh, no! I, I must fight! No! Oh, oh my god! Stop, stop, stop! Please, please! Just one of you die, just one! Please! Well, what the heck are these things? Oh, no! Ah, oh. I'm doing well. Okay, that's it, bye. Now, this is a property that I've used at the very beginning of this video. This one prevents you from taking fall damage, fire damage, and drowning damage. So, let's type in the commands right now. There we go. And now basically you have an infinite breathe underwater potion. I mean, you do run out of bubbles, but here's what happens. Look at what happens when I run out of bubbles. You don't shake, you, you don't lose hearts. You stay this way. Forever. I mean, don't use it on survival maps. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's for like adventure maps or such. Or if you just, if you're a new player and you want to take it easy. Yeah, but that's still pretty cool, I must say. You also never take fire damage. Let me show you. Or lava damage, because lava is fire. I guess it's setting me on fire. But you still need to get rid of it like that. Could you swim in lava, like, at all? I mean... Technically, I am. People do call it simbi lava, but can you swim in it like you swim in water like this? I still love the new swimming animation. I think it's really cool. I think it's thicker than water. I know that blood is thicker than water, but the swamps of home are thicker than blood. No, it appears you don't get. Like, the arms moving or anything. But yeah, you're immune to fire. You're a zombie pigman, I guess. Yeah! But it's James, I thought you didn't want to go into the... You're not a fish, Double D! If there's a large gap, you have to go through, like this one. And lava is the only thing that prevents you from swimming it. Not to worry. You are immune to fire damage. Or maybe like here, some stupid gas are trying to explode you. Not to worry. The ghost lady cannot get me. She cannot explode me. Of course you can't because she's down there. Oh, there's another one up here. Where could it be? Oh dear. Let, let me go see if... Oh, wow. Big drop. Okay, that took only too long. And you're immune to regular fire as well. Hey, Gas! Get over here! Your mob was stupid! Get over here, you... You dirty ass bitch! When you want Gas to attack, they don't. And when you least want to see them, they do. Alright, Gas, show me what you got! Oh! 
Well, I guess the explosion aspect does hurt you. Uh, but the fire they produce doesn't. That's useful to know. Because I could lose like half my health on a guess. And how about you? Oh, can I get the achievement for uh, the party of Descender? Could I? Ah! Uh... I'm scared! I want to go home! I don't want to be out of Ryan anymore! I want to be mommy! Please, 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 please. This would be really cool. Ah! Oh. Try each shooting the guest with its own fireball. It works. Hold on. Alright, guest. Show me what you got. I know this isn't related to 1.15, but I just want views. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not moving that much. Oh, come on. Why aren't these arrows deflecting? Please, 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 please. I really appreciate it. But if you're going to die anyways, you might as well die in a big fiery explosion. So that's my question for you. Please. This looks just... Oh, oh! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! And the same music plays as if you... Uh... As if you were to fear rape because it's a very hard achievement. Extremely difficult. I'm going to die very quickly. T slash game rule. Fire damage. True. There we go. Now I've died. Respawn. Now, there's another thing called loot tables, and they're so easy to learn about, and they're really amazing. They completely changed the game. You gotta see this, guys. Let me uh, just look at the instructions, and I'll show you. Um... Um... God, I thought I was done with engineering classes for the day. Okay, never mind. Just skip it. The viewers want to realize it. Wait, what? There are also three achievements you can get. One of which we already got. It's sliding down using the honey blocks. If you don't remember that, then you have a bad memory. But also, now here's what happens when you slide down on honey. You slide down very, very slowly. That is good. The second one is be our guest. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin around your neck, Sherry, and we provide the rest. For this achievement, what you need to do is to go up to the beehive and then put all their lives in danger, make them suffer and scream inside only to not have the desire to attack you just because you are so malicious that they do not even want to reason you. You and they burn to death. I mean, here's what you do. Now, you saw earlier that the bees didn't like it when I took the honey. Well, here's a campfire. There we go. That's the second achievement done. Nice. Now, here's the third and final achievement. I'm going to have a drink first. Drink honey. Well, I guess it sort of acts like a drink, like you put it in the refrigerator. So you take Le Picac and you enchant it like so. Oh. Hey, I didn't say press the record button! Alright, I went to kill some mobs. Now, I'm in pickaxe. And... Oh boy, first try. And now we're back at the beehive. You put on the destruction for their health and prosperity back, and then you use it. There we go. And then, all you have to do is relocate it to anywhere. There you go, but it has to have three bees in it, that's why to get there, but yeah, that's how you do it. I guess, yeah. That's it. And with that, we have mastered everything we need to know about Minecraft 1.15, the Buzzy Bees update. Woohoo! Uh, what? What? What's that? What's not supposed to happen? But while we have mastered the update, there are a couple minor things, and I will show you some of my favorites. 
You can now extinguish campfires using a shovel. By the way, I should have mentioned this in How to Play Minecraft 1.14, but I love you can have campfires, like fire, in your inventory. That's very useful to know. You can now use iron ingots to help out iron golems and reheal their health. Bells now ring if they have a redstone source like this. There goes the baker with his tray like always. The same old bread and rolls to sell. When using a furnace, boats now smell six items rather than just one. The blast resistance of end stone bricks has been increased. To mine an iron door, you now have to use a pickaxe. See, it takes forever and you don't end up getting it. If you use a pickaxe, no problem. Mobs are very unfortunately better at not walking into lava. You can now eat cake and other food items in creative mode. What sponges now drive, they're placed into the nether. And the last, but definitely not least... Portals placed above bedrock in the nether now correctly link with those in the overworld. See, when I go back in here... There you go! And you have all this building space to use above bedrock in the nether. If you can get up there, that is. Alright, that's all I can think of for now. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry about not posting much lately. I'm just in college and all that great stuff. Student budget, student time schedule. Yeah. But hopefully now that this video is done at the time you're watching it, there shouldn't be any more updates at Minecraft for a long time and... What's that? What? The Minecraft 1.16 screenshot has been released? Where'd you see that? Oh, log.zip. Yeah, I like log.zip. What if I told you that what do you know about diamonds is wrong? What if I, they were useless all along? Turn in a couple of months to find out for how to play Minecraft 1.16.